It's approaching half-term at Harrow School, and Martin Smith and his team at Westacre Boarding House are doing their best to mould the 14 new boys, or shells, into Harrovians. OK, thank you very much, chats. Go and have some breakfast. Mr Rossi, if you want to push anybody around, select Mr Bassey. <laughs> you might find that a bit harder. <laughs> In the first few weeks of, of, of each autumn term, each house puts on a play or playlet, I think it, uh, well, we'll call it 15 or 20 minutes. It's directed by boys in the sixth form, uh, and it's one way of getting them to work together. Well, I think by the time I've put him in a bra, yeah. uh, we might have to um, put a, something underneath it. Preparations for the play are overseen by Westacre's matron, Kate Bain. So that's Nick. Yeah. It's one of many bonding experiences that, that they have during the first term. Um, and the good thing about it is it's really a bit of fun. Is he having boobs? Oh, oh, yes. Okay. Right. They all get to dress up. They get to put on the wigs and they have to put on makeup, which is always a scary prospect for them. We have to do this. So I'm not used to all that, but there you go. How about that? That's good. All the shells are expected to take part in some form or another. I, I think it, 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 they begin to think of themselves through the shell drama as a group, uh, a group of, of boys, shell boys, in, at Harrow but within Westacre. Dylan, come here. As well as bonding with their new housemates, shells must also adapt to the Harrow regime. Assistant Housemaster Richard Harvey is responsible for their progress. Right. Poor classroom behaviour, that's not acceptable. This doesn't happen again, do you understand? OK. Right, you've got 60 double, so it needs to be in by Wednesday, actually. Right, off to prep, really. Right, Oliver. While Dylan collects more double, Ollie has been put on Custos Report, another traditional Harrow punishment. Do you understand what Custos Report is? Yeah. Right, do you know why you got it? My hat. Right, okay. Tell me again, why weren't you wearing your hat? It got taken in breakfast. You're basically a Custos accident waiting to happen, really, aren't you? Yeah. So, three days of Custos, starting tomorrow morning. Okay, yeah. all right? Right, thank you, Ollie. Thank you. Custos report, uh, as it's known, is for minor uh, uniform offences. So it could be something as uh, small as walking up and down the hill with your shirt hanging out. Uh, it could be that you've decided either not to take or to wear your hat. And that means that you have to uh, report to Custos's office, the custodian's office, somewhere between 7.15 and 7.30 in the morning. And Custos, as a military man, closes the door at 7.30 on the dot. And after that, you are late. If you miss it, because it's for three days initially, you get three more days. So you can rack them up quite quickly if you're careless. <laughs> Who stopped you for your hat? I oh, don't know, there's some guy I was walking to my lesson, he just told me. He stopped me and said, where's your hat? I was like, got taken. And it was like three days. And I didn't know what he meant, but it's like, all right. That's unlucky. But they, they can't give you Kostos for not having your hat when your hat got taken. That's, like, not logical. They're teachers. They get paid to watch us suffer. <laughs> ridiculous. But at Harrow, there's no time to brood. Positions. Positions. After prep, it's time to rehearse for the Shell's play. OK, you three go and get cell settings. No more spring. But despite having less than a week till the big night, Dylan, as an off-stage voice, is struggling to remain focused. Dylan, come on. You should know your cue, Dylan. Oh, it's going so well. Yeah, we do. What I've noticed is I, I get shouted at for, for one different thing every single drama rehearsal. All you, need is your do, all you need to do is your cue. You don't even know when your cue is. Because it's in my script. Just look I don't it. care it if it's not your you script. Just... The oh, line wait. is, shh, no, I can't tolerate whispering in an exam. How am I supposed to what, know? What was the line? line? What did I just say? What did I just, what did I just say? What was the line? And then what do you say? 
and then I say, so my dear, we'll meet again. Okay, good. Okay, let's go see. to your room and practice that. Sit in your chair and go, I cannot tolerate whispering in an exam. So my dear, we meet again. I cannot tolerate no. whispering in an exam. Why, why so my dear, we meet again. Why, 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 I, I don't think much of it when Barnaby shouts at me for drama. It doesn't really bother me that much, that badly. Um, yeah, not much. I don't feel much. Bright and early next morning, Ollie sets off for his appointment with Castos. It's my first show to have Custos, and I think probably it won't be his last. I've got a feeling he'll have more, but never mind. Mm. I see him. It's quite big, intimidating. I think he's screaming at every single boy which walks in. But, you know, just get over and done with. Morning. Morning, sir. What's your name? Oily. Which house? Oh, West Acre. So you're a shell? Wow. Right, let's have a look at your hat then. This is how we started. Quick look, make sure your name is on it. It's all marked up. And that's a spare hat. My hat got taken. And that's what you were on for? No hat, wasn't it? Okay. Well, still needs repairing. And obviously yep. you need to get a hat. Yep. Your shoes need cleaning, don't they? Yeah. They're dirty. I won't give an extra day for the dirty shoes. But if they're not clean tomorrow, I will start adding them on. Okay. Fair enough? Yep. Okay, so turn up between 7.15 and 7.30. Can't go far wrong. All right yep. then, well done. Yes. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye. Bye. I don't know what to expect really, but when I got there, he seemed pretty nice, quite welcoming, but I don't really want to see him in the mornings that early. And if Ollie has learned his lesson, Dylan may also have turned a corner. Hi Dylan, are you having a double? Come in. Oh. Hello, Dylan. Hi sir, oh. um, I have some double for you, yeah, sir. It looks like double. However, you got a send up today, didn't you? I had two, sir. Two? I, I had another geography send up for getting full marks on a test, sir. That's fantastic. I just thought that cancels this out, basically, doesn't it? That's very good. Okay, well, keep right. getting the send-ups, but not the double. Okay, thank you, Bill. Right. Thank good. you, sir. Okay. Send-ups are merits given for good work. And with a couple of those under his belt, all Dylan has to do now is remember his cues in the Shell drama. In front of a packed house at Harrow's very own 400-seat theatre. Get your tights on, get ready. Oh, my God. How do we do, do my Backstage, Matron does her best to calm first night nerves. Sachin, you look stunning, mate. You do. Here's your earrings, darling. Now get ready. Mainly her own. Okay, guys, all the best. You'll be great. You'll be fine, sweetheart. Oh, is he gone? I don't know if I can watch. Mm. I might. I might just, yeah, I'll go and I'll knit backstage. That's what I'll do. I'll knit backstage and see how it is. Hopefully, it'll all be fine. They sound like they're ready to go, so I'll hand over to Weston. The most important part is that you put it off. Up till then, everyone had done well, and I didn't want to ruin it for the house. So, my dear, we meet again. Go to your room and practice that. So, my dear, we meet again. So, my dear, we meet again. Oh, oh, I ripped the curtain. Hold on, guys, hold on. OK, can I have the bras, girls? I need the bras. If they are feeling still a little unsure of things after the play it's it's evaporated because it, they just have such a good time i had some butterflies and i was panting and sweating a bit but it all went off so i started my lines i, I think i did the best i've ever done today so i'm really happy okay guys. i think this is sort of the end of everyone not knowing each other we all know each other now we're all 
became quite close and we were definitely uh, making some good friendships. If you compare this to months back, we were quite quiet, but now we're all loud and like being told and telling to shut up, so we were definitely having some good fun. When Sachin first arrived at Harrow, he was one of a number of shells who struggled to settle in. But that was nearly seven weeks ago. Ready for the send-up avalanche, Sachin? Now he's up for top prize in Martin's send-up reward scheme. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What you need to do, Sachin, is employ a secretary for your send-ups <laughs> and just get them to file them for you through the week. <laughs> and then you can just send me a typed-up report for how many send-ups you have. NJM. It's strange to think that a few weeks ago he was sort of a bit timid, a bit meek, a bit worried about everything. Um, it's just great, he's settled so well and but by the end of the year he's going to have about £150 to spend on iTunes vouchers. <laughs> there we go. It's been a long half term for the Shells, which has seen them grow from naive newcomers to wised up West Acrians. I managed to go a whole math lesson without giving away the fact that I didn't have my calculator, which would have given me 40 double, and I avoided 60 double in chemistry. So I avoided 100 double, so I'm quite proud of myself. Where's Jack? Bye, Ollie. Bye. Bye. <laughs> we're, we're losing them up very quickly, I think. Yeah, they're very good at getting away. <laughs> Not so good at coming back. I think it's a great milestone for boys. They're at a point where they know the running of the school, they know their routine, they're beginning to find the activities they enjoy. They're nevertheless ready to go home and probably get a bit of a rest for the first two or three days to come off the treadmill. Certainly the housemaster likes a rest for two or three days.